We're joined on Sports 360 today by Mr. Amino Megari, the president of the Nigerian Football Federation. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thanks a lot, too. Yes, sir. Well, we're going to start in the, 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 the easiest place to start, which is Nigeria winning the, the Nations Cup after 19 years for the first time. First of all, how did that make you feel? Of course, I'll feel, I feel great. Uh, it's not an easy thing, you know, to uh, become an African champion. And like I keep saying, it's not an easy thing, you know. It's not an easy feat to be a king. But like you rightly said, close to two decades, you know, Nigeria have patiently waited, you know, for this uh, much longer time. But as God will have it, the time has come at the right time. And with the right people, so to say, because it's all about uh, working together, it's all about unity, it's all about uh, uh, harmony, it's, it's all about peace, you know, it's all about enjoying the work, it's all about putting yourself together to say, look, let us put everything we have behind us. Let us show patriotism. Let us look at our country. Let us look at our individual selves, you know. Why are we here? We have gotten the mandate of over 160 million people to say, go and do this job for us. And uh, after looking at all these areas, you know, we now put ourselves together and uh, say, not just the football federation, but every single member of this football family has a role to play. So we say we're going to have what is called an open door policy so that everybody is involved, everybody should have this sense of belonging, everybody should know he has or she has a role to play. Because all we are saying is Nigeria. And as God to have it, we have achieved uh, yes. the achievement. Congratulations again. You know, but um, it, it was interesting that you mentioned unity and everybody being involved. In the Nations Cup or during the Nations Cup, Nigeria had its fair share of drama on the pitch <laughs> as well as off the pitch. What do you think, you know, what are your thoughts on, you know, the drama both on the pitch and off the pitch that, that ensued during the competition? Yeah, thank you so very much. You see, in uh, almost every end of life, especially in a football uh, circle where everybody is a master, where everybody knows it more than almost every other person, you know, where everybody feels it's important. So you need to give room to listen and hear and receive everybody. Uh, you cannot expect things to go smoothly because everybody is coming with his own idea. Everybody was, will tell you that, look, my ideas are the best. And everybody will tell you that I know better. So in trying to put this family together, you know, you must give room to all this kind of thing. But as God will have you, when the drama began to happen, we had a solution. And it's all over now, I want to assure you. Absolutely. The relationship of, you know, the Nigerian Football Federation and the national team coach Steven Keshi has been so much in the media. And I know you've spoken about it. The coach himself has spoken about it. But what exactly is the state of relationship between the Federation and the national football team um, coach Stephen Keshi at the moment? If I, it's been a very tremendous relationship, excellent, a very, very cordial relationship because we work harmoniously. Uh, just about a fortnight ago, I saw on a meeting. I mean, a few of our members of the board, especially the chairman, technical committee, the chief coach KG himself, and a few other guys, you know, we sat down to agree. I said, look, we should forget about whatever happened in the past. Forget about the joy of this AFCON. AFCON is over. So what we are saying now is how do we drive this campaign to get the ticket to World Cup? How do you intend to take it? How do you go about it and uh, how do you relate with your players? So how do you want us to come in? Because we don't choose players for anybody. We don't say, look, coach, this is who you place. Now our own is just to regulate. As a regulatory body, we call them for a meeting to fix things right. And I want to assure you and assure the people of uh, uh, this country that the relationship has been excellently in place. It's been wonderful, it's been very, very cordial, and we are working towards achieving what we want to achieve, that is to grab the World Cup ticket. Because this is a campaign that is so much uh, of concern. This is a campaign that we feel must be well-driven. 
is a campaign that we must take it to the way it's supposed to be taken. So excellent relationship, working closely, working collectively. That's brilliant. The, the, you mentioned there the relationship between the coach and the players, the, the unity has to be there. Me, the media reports over the last two months has highlighted the fact that striker Emmanuel Emenike hasn't been happy with the fact that he hadn't been contacted during his injury and now captain Joseph Yobo being dropped from the team he's, he's discussed openly you know, his sadness at the fact that the relationship between himself and the coach hasn't been great what is the federation the Nigerian Football Federation what what are they doing in in order to ensure a good relationship between senior players young players and players in general in the team that's great. And uh, actually, I have spoken with uh, MNEK. In fact, uh, uh, I spoke with him about uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, to hear from him what is really happening. And I've spoken with Yobo as well. And it's, there are no big problem. But uh, things have been amplified by the media cycle, which is unfortunate. You know, we cannot stop you people from doing your work. <laughs> But I want to tell you, the family is now back to life. The family is intact. I have been talking to the players collectively and individually, spoken with the coaches collectively and individually, to tell them the kind of assignment we are ready to face, to kind of tell them the kind of challenges ahead of us. It's not about putting a rank or together. Uh, what we are saying is we need to work together as a team. We need to be identified as a family. Football is about love, it's about unity, it's about education, it's about joy, happiness, everything. So we don't expect anybody to have a problem with it. And everybody is important. So they have come to understand all these things. We now say, okay, the next line of action is we are driving this concern. Whether you are sick, you have a lot to contribute on and off the field. So please go ahead. Forget about any individual uh, difference. Forget about uh, somebody upset you. Forget about somebody must uh, just put Nigeria behind your mind. And these are things we are out of work. We are out of work. We, we want to be there now. We want to see Nigeria do a lot when we get to the World Cup. But before that, we have to first and foremost drive a very good campaign to ensure the ticket that will qualify us to get to that level. Absolutely. But the relationship is Thank excellent, you. and everybody is excellent. Everybody is enjoying that oneness. Um, you mentioned the, you, speaking to the football players, speaking to the national team coach. It seems the, uh, the Nigerian Football Federation has a you know role to play and a lot of a lot of stuff to do in between keeping everybody happy. What, and people, you know, the individuals, like you said, everybody has an opinion of what the role of the NFF should be. Mm -hmm. What exactly is the role of the Nigerian Football Federation in dealing with the, the national team? You see, we are a regulatory body. We have the mandate of Nigerian people, the stakeholders, the Congress, and everybody, every other concerned player. Uh, we are to regulate to put to ensure they've got everything it takes to put the team in place. To ensure we put everything it takes to make a national team. A team that yes, everybody will feel this is a team that belongs to this country at this national level. Uh, contrary to what people assume and think that we impose players of coaches, we select players, we direct coaches to put who and who. Uh, it's not so, we only advise where we feel things are not going the way they're supposed to go. I mean, we just invite the coach or the coaches to say, look, do you think what you're doing is right? Don't you think you need ABC to be more uh, solid in what you're doing? And so on and so forth. So we are just regulating things. Look for fund, look for every other thing it takes, you know, to ensure the success prepare camping ground, every other facility in ground, the security, everything, you know, it takes. But when it comes to the play, we just fall our arms to say, coach, we know you have done your own. So we are now in the same class. We have done our own. You did your own as well. So the last laugh is the players ourselves to see what action they provide 
you know, to, to, they provide during this 90 minutes encounter. Absolutely. So that is what we do. You've consistently used the, you know, the word we, 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 <laughs> to imply the fact that, you know, the, the, Nash, the Nigerian Football Federation mm -hmm. operates in, in togetherness, but we've seen reports as well that some people have claimed that lead, the leadership of the Nigerian Football Federation make decisions without involving the board. But uh, what are your thoughts on such claims? I don't think uh, that is right. I have my uh, statutory powers to decide where it is necessary because it's there in the statutes. And I have cases I must submit to the board for us to collectively put our heads together and decide whether wrong or right. Because uh, where I feel I have the mandate to decide, I just don't have to wait for anybody. Because we are not put in one place, we are uh, in various parts of uh, all over the country and so on and so forth. So this is what people should know. But you know, in a uh, football cycle, you know, you listen, I mean, you hear a lot of things. You don't see, but you hear a lot of things. Somebody from here will say, look, the leadership is this. Somebody will say it's from the secretary. Somebody will say a particular chairman from his committee or outside his committee did A, B, C, and so on and so forth. But uh, this is a system and uh, we are used to. And this is a family we must continue to manage. This is a family that we must continue to work together. And this is a family we continue to educate to knowing that, I mean, to them to know that every and each member of this family is important. If you have what to offer, our doors are open. Please come and contribute. And I keep saying to them, they should not allow this board to be run by Aminu Megari alone. It's beyond me. They should not allow this board to be run by Nigeria Football Federation Executive Committee members because we are just 15 in number. So Nigeria is about over 150 million. So we cannot do it alone. But if you have anything to offer, our doors are open. Come, let's do it together. That's the slogan. Thank you.